Just open any major national publication and you'll find that Wake County continues to be one of the most desirable places to raise a family or to start a new business. Whether it's with the schools and universities in the area or just the libraries and parks, you'll find that Wake County continues to thrive on its great reputation. And while commissioners will tell you that they've done a great job in trying to lead this county down the right path, there's no success in this community without partnerships. And one of those partners is the Greater Raleigh Chamber of Commerce. And with us to talk about that partnership is Emily Atkinson, Vice President of Governmental Affairs with the Chamber. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, Emily, first tell us a little bit about the uh, Chamber and what they do. Sure, the Chamber is the largest business member organization in the Triangle. We have approximately 2,300 members who employ approximately two-thirds of the workforce in the Triangle area. The mission of the Greater Raleigh Chamber of Commerce is to continue to grow and develop our high quality of life and our economy here in the region. The Chamber is broken into three distinct lines of business, economic development, which we call product sales, government affairs, which is product development, and then our membership services department. Our membership services department works a lot with our small businesses who comprise 85% of our members, and that's where we host many of our events, our networking opportunities and engagement opportunities so that the members can share their business and also learn best practices from others in the community. Now, Emily, are there some specific areas and issues that the organization tries to address? Sure. Um, I'll especially talk from the government affairs perspective. We work on quality of life issues for Raleigh and Wake County. This is all encompassing. On any given day, I can be working on education issues to open space, to water and sewer, to transportation. And all of this comes back to the quality of life because talent drives our economy here in Wake County. And we want to make sure that we are bringing the best talent here and we're keeping our talent here. How important is it to have a meaningful and sustainable partnership with government? Successful communities are the ones in which the public and the private sectors are aligned. They work together on a vision for the community. And oftentimes in communities where those sectors are not aligned, they spend a lot of time on competing visions and therefore enter a stalemate. We're very lucky in Wake County that we have a long history, generations of history, of working together on these critical issues. The Chamber tries to provide numerous opportunities throughout the course of the year where our members can actively engage with our elected officials, engage in open dialogue, and work together with these officials. Now, recently the Chamber hosted a series of, of joint meetings mm -hmm. uh, between commissioners and the, the school board. And obviously the, the number one topic was discussion about the upcoming bond. Why did the Chamber decide it was important to be a part in, uh, of that process as well as to host it? Well, in order for our community to grow and prosper, we have to focus on talent. That's talent recruitment, talent retention, and talent development. And education is a key component of that. So we need to make sure that our school system is producing high student achievement, high levels of education, so that we can then send these students out to be in the workforce. So that's a huge issue for the Chamber and for our business members because they want the best talent pool here so that we can continue to grow and prosper with our economy. As far as the Chamber hosting the meetings, we have great partnership with all of our elected officials. So we were happy to have all of them there at the Chamber to engage in open and robust dialogue about what to do with the school bond. And the Chamber has a long history of supporting all bonds coming out of the city and the county because of the benefit they provide to our community. How does a partnership um, translate into a healthy business and educational climate here in Wake County? Well, the Chamber is focused on the prosperity of the market and we need to have high quality workforce to attract high quality companies. And the partnership between the private sector and the public sector conveys to those companies and the workers that we have a community focused on the quality of life of our citizenry. And so they want to come and be a part of that. And finally, how can citizens 
and or businesses find out more about the chamber, including possible membership opportunities? Our newest campaign is that we open doors every day, and we at the chamber have an open door. We invite people to contact us. You can learn more on our website, or feel free to call our main line, which is listed on our website, or just stop in the chamber. We're located at 800 South Salisbury Street, and we're open from 8.30 to 5, Monday through Friday, and we welcome anyone with interest or questions to get in touch with us. Emily Atkinson, Vice President of Governmental Affairs with the Greater Raleigh Chamber of Commerce, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it.